Okay, so now that our camera is all calibrated properly, and to check this real quick, we're just going to click on Edge Pair Locator Tool, and we're going to do Snap and Find, and we can see here that the length is 19.955, and we define the block in our work cell to be 20 millimeters. So that's how we know we're good to go. So under Evaluation Tool, we're going to create condition statements. That way we can detect if this block truly is the size that we want it to be, and we can create a filter system within our work cell. So the first thing we're going to click on is variable and we're going to select edge pair locator tool and then we're going to click on length. That way we can filter the block sizes based off the length that the camera measures. So we go under condition. I've kind of already messed around with it so just ignore these. We're just going to go through it one by one. So we're going to go under condition 1 and we're going to link it to variable 1 which is right here variable 1 and we're going to make it greater than and then we're going to assume a plus or minus 1 millimeter offset. So since this block is 20 millimeters, even though the tool itself measures it at 19.955, that's pretty close to 20. So we're going to say that this is, if it's greater than 21, we want this to fail. And then we're going to make condition 2, again link it to variable 1, which we have right here. And then we're going to make it less than, and then 19 millimeters. That way if it's too small, which is 19 millimeters, that's what we're defining it to be, is too small, then it will know that this part will fail. So we know that this is going to, we need to select all false for this to pass. That's how we know when it's going to pass. Because if we set this to true, then if this, if this runs through the filtering system and these conditions, it's going to fail every single time because it's 20 millimeter and that's between this range that we defined over here. So we want this to be all false. And to check, this logic can get confusing. So to check it, you can either do it in one or two ways. You can click here, snap and find, and it says pass here or, which I like is better because it's more satisfying to look at, you click on single view inspection, like the very top of the tree, and you do snap and find, and then it says up here it says pass. Oh, if you click randomly, I don't know what these lines do, but I just click snap and find again. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you set up your condition statements. And then make sure you just save and hit end edit. That way, when you open up this tool again, it just goes back to this main page.